The title of the video is you should pay attention to the girls that are interested in you. Uh, we have a problem nowadays that as men, you know, we're very attracted to beauty, which is a good thing. Beauty is, I'm attracted to beauty. I, I love beautiful women, but sometimes you have to focus actually on the people which you do attract. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into this glorious video. But I always assumed that the chase of a woman is what gave life meaning. And if they have shown a lack of interest to in me, that's just a, like nature telling you, you need to actually try. No, or... no, no, no. Have to disagree with you there, my friend. Uh, the more you chase, the less she's interested in you. Uh, you should look at women more like ugly people. You know, the ugly girl, which you never give attention to, but you give her enough attention. You dose her enough so she's interested. You can't chase her too much. It's it's actually the opposite. The less you chase, the more they'll be attracted to you. Actually, I found that my desire to chase, it has some results. But the downside of chasing a flaky woman is that it sort of ruins your life yeah. and it kills your potential. You see, there is a whole nother demographic of woman who's actually interested in you. Wow. You just don't pay attention to her yeah. because maybe she's not as pretty as this other girl True. over here who's just annoying as fuck. Yeah. Like Brittany over there. There's a whole another category of woman who will rub your feet and cook for you. I mean, Brittany did just make me these egg whites, but you know, like cook them way better. <laughs> but Brittany is attractive, brah. It must be a little bit the clout. I mean, he, he he's an okay looking guy. He is, but bruh, bruh, it has to, it has to do with the subscribers because Britney is attractive, my guy. <laughs> but, but the other girl, trust me, the other girl will cook it way better. Around this time, last December, I actually genuinely went through a phase where I thought I was not attractive to women. Turns out wow. I was just trapped in my own mind. Sometimes you don't realize that we're actually like bioelectric hmm. creatures. There might be something about your own constitution. You could just be depressed and it ends up making you stuck in life. No, I disagree with him there. Yes. Sometimes it could just be the, maybe the city. Maybe you have to move from that city. They just maybe don't like Indian guys, black guys, whatever race you are. Maybe, the, maybe you have to move back to India in order to get a woman. And you know, the crazy part is like when I was younger, I wasn't even thinking in these terms. I was thinking like, oh, you know, I might just marry like a white woman. Or I might just marry like, I wasn't even like thinking in color, but with time I've noticed most races want to stick to each other. Most of them, not all of them, not all girls. I can't say that it is like this for all races, but it's usually like this. The only people which I've seen, which aren't like super racist are usually like Arabic people. Aren't that like super racy? Like, but that's the Arabic people here in Sweden. So the Arabs here in Sweden, uh, have what had some Arab girlfriends. I've had some white girlfriends as well, but it's not, it's not on a like a, it's not on a crazy amount of like a lot of like white Swedish girls. Like maybe what my friends have had. Like if I'm dating like the white Swedish girl, she she has to have some form of like a black fetish or something. Usually it's like that. Then of course there's always an exception to the rule. There's girls which I've dated, which have not even been thinking in those terms. You know, she just found me very charming, you know, or maybe she liked Kanye West or maybe she liked Chris Brown or she liked Neymar. Now I'm just kidding there, but it's, it's, it's a little bit of both. I think environment does play a role when it comes to it. Let's continue guys. Highly conducive, highly charged up human being. And this simply means be someone who sleeps well, gets great sunlight, eats a nutritionally dense diet, and above all else, 
chases momentum, chases progress in their own life. Just tell yourself this cue, I'm gonna make a million dollars and I'm gonna get jacked. Yeah. You don't actually have to make the million dollars, you don't actually have to get jacked, yeah. but if you just use those two cues, most of your energy into living well, sleeping well, having great energy, yeah. it more or less ensures that the vibes you give off, the vibes yeah. are right. Be detached from love and romance as much as possible. Mm. Why would you say detachment is an important quality to have when it comes to women and romance? Ah, because if you're because you have to come from an abundance mindset it's almost like the guy which thinks that he's rich becomes rich but if you're constantly thinking about money and saving and then you're never going to be rich it has to do with the mindset and you have to have an abundance mindset so yeah when it comes to women you also have to think you, have, you can't you can't talk to like a what a nine and then think like oh i can't get her you have to think like okay what makes you qualify for me? Like, yeah, if, if you're going to be my girlfriend, you have to, you have to have some form of like standards for yourself, you know, like, yeah, she's a beautiful girl, but then what, you know, is she just a hot girl, which she's sitting there and she's eating like that, that does not help you in any form. So yeah, you have to test them a little bit. And women I've noticed, like if they get tested and they, if you're putting them through hoops as well, they are also very insecure, right? I know like like most of like the hot girls that I've dated have been like some of the most insecure women. And the crazy part about this is like if she's super attractive and super nice, you probably could date her. So the outcome, then you're going to be needy mm. and neediness is not attractive. How does one foster more detachment, would you say? I would say by having options. The more options that you have, the less you're going to be attached to one option. Well, bro, how yeah, does, how do I yeah. Do options is a good thing. Uh, this is something that a lot of people say. They say, oh, you should have options. But I have to counter that a little bit. I think what you should have is you should have a lot of friends. Basically, that's what you should start with. If you have a lot of friends, you're, you're probably a very popular person. If you're a very popular person, you'll be invited to a lot of parties and people will uh, you'll be able to attract the right women maybe not like the tens you know maybe not the angelina jolies but you if you can attract close to a seven then even the eights will be interested in you because seven and eight they're not so far apart but brah if you just say, oh, you, you have to have a lot of options, you have to be dating a lot of women, that, that doesn't work, right? What you should be doing is focusing on making a lot of money, hitting the gym, being physically strong, having money so you can, what, do things, do fun things. Uh, and then apart from that, of course, you have to, you have to have a lot of friends. If you have those three things, I would say I would say a lot of women will be at least interested enough to go on a date with you. And then if they're interested and you're constantly doing things and you're a fun guy, it's almost like I say this right. Will Smith is a very bad example, but if you look at on his like how charismatic he is, just as a person, right? When you look at him, you're like, wow, this is a fun person. I would like to hang out with Will, right? I wouldn't like to hang out with Chris Rock because he seems a little negative, but Will seems like just like he draws a lot of people to him. So I think a lot of people are, they're very negative and then they isolate themselves and then they get no friends and then they get no access to the females. So I, I, I think that that's what you should do. You should never just think like, oh, I'm going to have like a thousand women which I'm texting and I'm going to, that doesn't work. It doesn't develop options so i have to look this big <laughs> like, i don't have this yet i've been lifting for two years it hasn't arrived he's a big dude mm. detachment is deeply attractive and it can't be faked yeah. the further you go along on this trajectory this is the one domain of life where you have a one-to-one -one correlation between how much interest you get and how much work you put into your body. So elevation training is brutal. Mm. That's body game, man. It's the game you have without saying anything. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know where True. this man brought me, but <laughs> he brought me somewhere. Which brings me to the heart of this video. Yeah, Pay but strength and security. Strength, it's can he protect me? That's it. Can he protect me and can he provide? So for instance, let's say you're with a girl, right? And 
she looks at you, just looks at you. If something were to happen, can this guy physically defend me? If no, okay, then she might think, okay, is he competent enough to be able to handle the situation? That's number two. Yes, maybe no. And then number three, she's going to think, okay, does he have a lot of money or does he have people which can protect him? If it's a no on all those fronts, you have to work on one. To the ones who make it easy for you. There will always be women who make it easy for you. Sure, you could always go for that one girl who you have to chase. Maybe you can actually get with her. You can even marry this girl, but it's just very annoying. And all that energy that you put mm. into this girl, the rewards come so much more dramatically when you put that energy into yourself. I've now come to realize that the definition of a simp is someone who puts energy into things that don't give you energy back. Wow. That's all there is to it. There should be a return on life, a True. return on energy with many of the things you pursue. If you find yourself putting energy into people or to agendas yeah. or goals mm. that don't give something back to you, let go of that. Let go mm. of the person who you have to chase yeah. and instead put that energy into things yeah. that would serve you. What but this is also a thing that a lot of us don't talk about. It's trauma. Usually when you are trying to put energy into something, it's you're mirroring yourself. You're trying to fix something which happened to you. It could be like your, maybe your dad left you or your mom left you or whatever, right? And you're, you, you need that approval, right? And what I've dated some girls which have had this, right? And they've said to me, oh, you're super manipulative. It's not that I'm super manipulative. It's like, it's almost like we do things subconsciously without even thinking about it, right? And I think like when I was younger, I learned certain things when I was younger, which because like maybe the role models which I had around weren't really... I would say some some of the people weren't really, really role models. They taught me certain things about manipulation and like subconsciously, not like, oh, they were teaching me how to manipulate. That's why like some of the girlfriends, some of my ex-girlfriends had said, has brought this up, you know, they've said like, oh, you've been super manipulative. And I'm like, I don't, sometimes I don't mean to be manipulative. I don't do it like to manipulate a person. I don't do to try to, scam a person no it's just like you notice certain triggers certain women have and sometimes when you notice those triggers then you know like okay if i want something i might just press this button and then i know that i'm going to get it it's a trauma response it is one often finds is that the girl who wasn't giving you much attention suddenly when you enter a new season of your life where you're healthier yeah. you're fitter when you focus on the things in life that serve you more than the ones that don't Suddenly, those old opportunities that originally were closed off to you, they open up more. It's this incredible thing in life where once you gain momentum in one area, that momentum kicks in in all aspects of your life. Pay attention to the ones who want you. Yeah, and, and that is true because the woman respects you more because she's thinking from this perspective where she's like, okay, now you are actually going out there and hunting, right? You are not lusting over me you're not being weak because it's a form of weakness if you think of it sitting with your girlfriend and just sitting on the couch saturday passed by you guys did not do anything you're just sitting you know in a way she's because the, the whole reason why she got together with you is to to be attracted to you and get that masculine dose right where she's like oh my god i want to be with like i want to be with that person and you can only be with that person if that person is constantly doing constantly have a lot to do right the reason why and i say this so many times the reason why celebrities are so attractive to women is because they're actually going out there and achieving their dreams they're not making any excuses so yeah she might date you a little bit a while and she might like think like Oh, he's, he's a very attractive guy. But if a person with higher status swings by, guess what she's going to do? She's going to monkey branch to the higher guy or the guy which has higher status just because she wants to procreate with the person with the best genes. A simp, as he said, yes, is a person which is giving energy to the people which don't give energy to him.
you're constantly giving money and doing all of that. No, that's that's not the way to go. But anyway, guys, if you learned something from this video, I hope you can like, comment and share and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.